For years, the Boeing 797, also known as the new midsize airplane, NMA, has been one of the most talked about topics in the aviation world. It's more than just another aircraft project. It represents one of the most critical gambles that could determine the future of the aerospace giant, as Airbus continues to tighten its dominance in the highly profitable mid-market segment. But can this aircraft truly help Boeing regain what it has lost? Why are so many airlines around the world eagerly anticipating its arrival? Let's find the answer. Perhaps no other plane in modern aviation history has stirred up as much conversation or promised as much untapped potential as the 797. The idea of the Boeing 797 emerged at one of the darkest times in the company's history, amid a series of crises that shook its very foundation from the 737 MAX disasters to the delays of the 777X. Yet in the midst of chaos, Boeing quietly nurtured a bold vision to create an entirely new aircraft that could change the course of aviation. This was more than a technical project. It was a declaration of rebirth, marking the maker's transformation from crisis to a new era of innovation and excellence. Known as the new midsize airplane, or NMA for short, the 797 was conceived as the company's strategic answer to the toughest challenge in the industry, the mid-market segment. This niche demands an aircraft capable of carrying between 200 and 270 passengers over ranges of 4,500 to 5,000 nautical miles, ideal for point-to-point -point routes that are too thin for a wide-body jet, yet too long for a typical single aisle. Boeing's engineers believe the 797 could finally fill that gap, redefining the economics of mid-range flying. The most revolutionary aspect of the 797 is its twin-aisle design, a feature rarely seen in this class. Unlike single-aisle aircraft such as the A320 or the 737, the 797 was envisioned with a 2-3-2 layout, offering the spacious comfort of a wide body, yet operating at costs close to a narrow body. It is this combination, the comfort of a wide body with the efficiency of a single aisle, that gives Boeing's concept its true edge, creating a whole new category where no rival has dared to go. Notably, to dominate every corner of this market, the maker planned two main variants, a long-range version, seating around 225 passengers and flying up to 5,000 nautical miles for transatlantic or Asia-Pacific missions, and a high-capacity version, carrying up to 275 passengers for dense regional or domestic routes. This flexibility would allow the NMA to serve both emerging and mature markets alike, a capability no existing Airbus model, not even the A321XLR, can fully match. Beyond performance, Boeing infused the 797 with a premium passenger experience inspired by the 787 Dreamliner. The cabin would feature larger windows, lower cabin altitude for reduced fatigue, intelligent mood lighting, and cleaner air, redefining comfort on mid-range flights and giving travelers a reason to choose the 797 over any single aisle alternative. Ultimately, the 797 represents far more than a new product. It embodies the spirit of revival and ambition. It is Boeing's boldest step toward reclaiming its lost prestige and reaffirming the innovation that once defined it. If it succeeds, the jetliner will not just restore the company's market share. It will stand as a testament that even in its most difficult moments, the maker can still create a masterpiece that pushes the boundaries of what flight can be. That becomes even clearer when you look at what comes next. By the way, please take a second and hit that subscribe button. We know you're going to love what's coming next. That vision quickly took form in a jet designed not to imitate, but to surpass. In an era where Airbus focused on incremental upgrades, Boeing chose revolution. In today's market, Boeing's biggest rival is without question the Airbus A321XLR Extra Long Range, the aircraft that's been dominating the mid-range segment through a strategy of incremental innovation. Airbus didn't build an entirely new jet. Instead, it simply stretched the existing A321 airframe, reinforced the landing gear, and added an extra fuel tank to reach a range of 4,700 nautical miles. It was a clever evolution, but not a revolution. The U.S. maker, on the other hand, chose a completely different path with the 797, a clean sheet design built to redefine the segment and embody a philosophy of breakthrough rather than adaptation. The first and most visible advantage of the 797 lies in its twin-aisle wide-body design, something the A321XLR simply cannot replicate. While the A321XLR, being a narrow-body aircraft, offers only a single aisle and a cramped cabin on flights lasting seven to eight hours, the 797 delivers the comfort and spaciousness of a true wide-body experience. Two aisles allow passengers to board and deplane much faster, 
improving turnaround efficiency and reducing ground time. For airlines, this means not only higher operational efficiency, but also the ability to implement premium pricing strategies, maximizing revenue per flight thanks to a more comfortable passenger experience. Beyond comfort, the 797 also takes a decisive lead in engine and fuel efficiency technology. While the A321XLR still relies on existing NEO engines, the 797 is designed from scratch to integrate the next generation of propulsion, including concepts like the CFM Rise, Open Rotor, or Rolls-Royce Ultrafan, both promising up to 20% better fuel efficiency compared to today's best engines. This leap would eventually erase the A321XLR's initial cost advantage and give Boeing a lasting edge in an era of rising fuel prices and tightening environmental regulations. Furthermore, the NMA is expected to be fully compatible with 100% sustainable aviation fuels, a standard that the A321XLR may struggle to meet in the coming decade. However, do you know what's even crazier? The Boeing 797 has been envisioned as the rightful heir to the legendary Boeing 757, designed not only to revive its legacy, but also to overcome the limitations of its rivals. To understand why, we must first look at what made the 757 so special and how the 797 seeks to surpass it. The 757 was celebrated for its unmatched versatility, capable of taking off from short runways, crossing the Atlantic with ease, and performing efficiently at hot and high airports like Denver. When Boeing ended its production, airlines were left yearning for an aircraft that could match that level of performance. Now, with an all-new design, the 797 is set to carry on that remarkable versatility and even refine it further, pushing beyond the limits once defined by the 757. It's something the A321XLR, still just a stretched and upgraded version of the older A320 airframe, could never truly achieve. Moreover, it promises to blend the best attributes of both the 757 and the 767. While the A321XLR can mimic the range of the 757, it falls short in comfort. The 797, in contrast, with a range of up to 5,000 nautical miles, goes even farther than the A321XLR, opening up longer and more profitable routes that were once viable only for wide-body jets. The NMA seeks to strike a perfect balance, delivering the fuel efficiency and performance of a narrow body while offering the spacious cabin experience of a wide-body aircraft. Its twin-aisle configuration is the key that unlocks this comfort advantage, something the A321XLR simply cannot replicate due to its structural limitations. In essence, the Boeing 797 represents the ultimate evolution of the mid-range aircraft concept, the very plane airlines have been hoping for since the final 757 rolled off the production line in 2004. When you combine its premium passenger experience, 20% fuel savings, and operational flexibility, the NMA emerges as not just a competitor, but a game changer. It represents Boeing's long-awaited opportunity to reclaim the mid-market, offering airlines a jet that's more comfortable, more efficient, and ultimately more profitable than anything Airbus has in this category. But beyond performance and technology lies something deeper, a chance for redemption. If the Boeing 797 truly represents a technological leap beyond the A321XLR, it also carries an even greater weight, a mission of redemption. For Boeing, this new midsize airplane is far more than just another business project. It is a strategic lifeline, a test of whether the company can rebuild its reputation and reclaim its legacy after years of crisis and missteps. The first step toward redemption begins with acknowledging the past. In 2004, this maker made what many now consider its greatest mistake of the 21st century, discontinuing the iconic 757 without a successor. That single decision created a massive gap in the mid-market, one that Airbus quickly filled with the A321neo family, followed by the LR, and eventually the XLR. The 797 is the U.S. maker's chance to correct that historical error, to finally reclaim the territory it abandoned two decades ago, and to show that it has learned from its past. But the stakes are far higher than the significance of that mission. Airbus's A321XLR has already secured over 500 firm orders from airlines such as United, American, Qantas, and Iceland Air, the latter replacing its aging 757 fleet with the XLR. Each new delivery further tightens Airbus's grip on the mid-market, strengthening customer loyalty and eroding Boeing's once-dominant position. Without a truly groundbreaking response like the 797, the company risks ceding this entire multi-billion dollar segment to its European rival, 
effectively relegating itself to a secondary role in one of aviation's most profitable categories. And finally, there is the question of trust, something this aircraft maker desperately needs to rebuild. The company's reputation has been battered by a series of high-profile setbacks. The 737 MAX crisis that cost over $20 billion, the 787 Dreamliner delivery halts, and ongoing delays with the 777X program. In this context, the NMA represents more than innovation. It is a declaration of rebirth. Developing it may cost between $15 and $20 billion, but success would signal that Boeing can still lead, still innovate, and still deliver on its promises. For airline executives worldwide who have grown skeptical, the 797 could become the proof they need to believe in this manufacturer again. That mission of redemption brings us to one final question. Can the 797 truly live up to the legacy of the Boeing 757? What do you think? Let's continue the conversation in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the latest developments in the aviation industry. Thanks for watching. And as always, fly safe.